And the Duke of Cambridge and his wife Catherine are expecting their first child. Prince William was seen leaving the King Edward VII Hospital where Kate is being treated for severe morning sickness. He is second in line to the throne. Whether it's a boy or girl, their child is likely to one day become monarch. Prince William wasn't hanging about, nor was there a smile for the cameras. Despite his delight, the fact he and wife Kate are expecting their first child. It's just a matter of days since we last saw Kate making a trip to her former school on Friday, and expecting Duchess was hardly taking it easy. The royal baby rumour has been in full swing for months, hitting a peak as the couple visited Cambridge last week. Mum-to-be Kate clearly had babies on her mind, while William received a baby grow, bearing the slogan, Daddy's Little Co-Pilot. But the proud parents-to-be were forced to announce their good news well before the 12-week mark, as Kate was admitted to a central London hospital suffering from acute morning sickness. The couple had been spending the weekend in Berkshire with the Middleton family, but as Kate continued to be unwell, William decided to drive her to hospital. <laughs> There was no information about when the baby, who is destined to be the future British monarch, is due, but a statement from the Prince's office said the pregnancy is in its early stages. It's reported that Kate is currently in a London hospital suffering from very acute morning sickness. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge married in April last year, and ever since there has been furious media speculation about a possible pregnancy. Last year, Britain changed the rules so that royal sons no longer have precedence as heir. On their engagement two years ago, the question of children was inevitably raised. I, I think we'll take it one step at a time. We'll sort of get over the marriage thing first and then maybe look at the kids. But uh, obviously, you know, we, we, uh, we want a family, so, um, you know, we'll have to start thinking about that. It was just last year the couple were married in a lavish ceremony, the world's eyes on this glamorous pair. The plea for the media to leave the newlyweds alone to prevent the level of intrusion suffered by Prince William's mother, Princess Diana. The royal couple played a key role during this year's Jubilee, touring a number of Asian and Pacific countries to celebrate the Queen's 60 years on the throne. A few days ago, on a walkabout in Cambridge, there was a prescient present for Prince William. <laughs> what a way to be serenaded. Leaders across the world have also given their reaction to the royal pregnancy. President Obama and his wife Michelle were among the first to pass on their best wishes. Also, the Australian Prime Minister, Julia Gillard, had this message for the happy couple. Can I start by offering my congratulations to Prince William and Kate on the news that they are expecting a child. This is delightful news. It's going to bring joy to them and to their family and I think it's going to bring joy to many around the world. Uh, clearly it's a time of joy. It can also be a time of challenge and I'm sure many will be thinking of Kate as she deals with morning sickness and is in hospital. But from the Australian people to Prince William and Kate, delightful news and our congratulations. Well, it's absolutely wonderful news and I'm delighted for them. I'm sure they'll make absolutely brilliant parents and I'm sure everyone around the country will be celebrating with them tonight. As the first born, the baby will be third in line to the British throne. Kate's less than 12 weeks pregnant, so Clarence House is holding off announcing a due date just yet.